Welcome back to Mass on Strength, where today we are diving deep into an alternative universe, one without the Austrian oak himself. Could bodybuilding, Hollywood and even politics have taken a different route without Arnold's omnipresence? Buckle up as we explore the unimaginable. The enigmatic aura that Arnold Schwarzenegger brought to the world of bodybuilding indisputably forged a connection between physical culture and mainstream society embedding the sport into a wider cultural narrative. His story, from lifting weights in Graz, Austria, to scaling Hollywood Heights and governing California, serves as a multifaceted lens through which we perceive bodybuilding and fitness culture. In the early days, a young Arnold, inspired by the likes of Reg Park and Steve Reeves, embarked on a journey that was far from ordinary. Born in Thal, Styria in 1947, Arnold's pursuit of a bodybuilding career was driven by a steadfast determination that propelled him from local competitions in Europe to the global stage. By the age of 20, he had secured the title of Mr. Universe, and in 1969, his charisma and robust physique had America, particularly the bodybuilding domain, in absolute awe. His influence was manifold. Arnold didn't just win championships he redefined the very paradigms of physical excellence and fitness. His victories in prestigious competitions, notably securing the Mr. Olympia title seven times, illustrated the epitome of bodybuilding success. Arnold's aesthetic, combining mass and symmetry, arguably shaped the blueprint that competitors and enthusiasts alike sought to emulate. Moreover, his commitment to promoting bodybuilding through various platforms, including literature like the new Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding, has had a persisting influence, educating and inspiring multiple generations in their fitness journeys. Arnold's magnetism reached well beyond the bodybuilding stage, embedding itself deeply into American and global pop culture. The transition from being a celebrated bodybuilder to becoming an iconic Hollywood superstar was seamless for Arnold given his inherent charisma and work ethic. The spectacular acting career that followed his bodybuilding triumphs conversely fed back into the sport, popularizing it and bringing it into mainstream conversations. In his journey, Arnold set a gold standard for bodybuilding. His commitment to symmetry, proportion and definition illustrated a particular image of what peak physical conditioning could look like. The standards set by Arnold during his reign in the bodybuilding world are still revered, and his physical ideals continue to shape the goals and aspirations of many in the sport. In a world without Arnold, the global recognition of bodybuilding could have perhaps taken a divergent path. His transition from Austria to the United States, the land of opportunities, showcased an internationalization of the sport reflecting an intercontinental dialogue that championed physical excellence. Without Arnold's international success and his story of an immigrant achieving the American dream through bodybuilding, would the sport have garnered its expansive, worldwide audience and athletes? The trajectory might have seen a more gradual or potentially region-centric development, missing the vibrant and compelling ambassador that Arnold inherently became. In terms of competition dynamics, Arnold's absence would likely impart a palpable alteration in the landscape. Arnold's dominance and subsequent celebrity persona gave the Mr. Olympia competition a charismatic champion, a figure for audiences and aspiring bodybuilders to rally around and admire. The aesthetic and physical standards he set, from his muscularity to his posing style, set a benchmark for competitive bodybuilding. In a hypothetical scenario without him, the standards, judging criteria and competitive strategies might have evolved under different influences, potentially changing the physiques we see on stage today. Bodybuilders' integration into Hollywood was significantly shaped by Arnold's transition from muscle stages to movie sets. He forged a path where muscle and cinema beautifully collided, crafting a new type of hero strong, stoic, and impossibly muscular. Without Arnold's breakthrough, would Hollywood have been as keen to embrace bodybuilders? 
it's plausible that the muscle aesthetic might not have become as prominent or accepted within the cinematic world, possibly shaping action movie archetypes and hero depictions differently. Athletes like Lou Ferrigno, Frank Zane or Lee Haney could have become the primary figures shaping the tales of triumph and ambition that underscored the sport, each bringing their own unique story and, perhaps, directing the motivational and inspirational aspects of bodybuilding in new directions. The blend of bodybuilding, acting and politics that Arnold amalgamated into his persona is notably distinctive. Without him, a notable void emerges in the cultural tapestry of not only bodybuilding, but also in Hollywood and the political arena. Arnold showcased that a bodybuilder could transcend the boundaries of the sport, becoming a bankable Hollywood star, and then transitioning into a significant political figure as the governor of California from 2003 to 2011. His political tenure saw him wrestling with various issues like budgetary crises and environmental policies. Without Arnold's vibrant and transversal career, one that bridged seemingly disparate worlds with remarkable flair, the representation and public perception of bodybuilders might have been starkly different. This absence would likely have manifested as a palpable lack of a unified, widely recognizable face that encapsulated the power and potential of bodybuilding. Arnold was not merely a bodybuilder, he became synonymous with the American dream, a beacon of possibility that stretched across various spheres of public life. Without him, the road from the stage of Mr. Olympia to the silver screen and then to a governmental position might have remained less traveled, if not altogether uncharted. The absence of this journey, which so compellingly demonstrated the malleability of success and the possibility of redefining personal identity, leaves us pondering how the narratives of ambition and success might have been crafted without his precedent. In terms of the global narrative and popularity of the sport, singular personalities like Arnold play pivotal roles. Arnold's story was not merely his own, it became a story of bodybuilding, illustrating the discipline, ambition and possibilities within the sport. His journey provided a tangible narrative of achievement that extended beyond the gym, reverberating through mainstream culture and providing a recognizable and relatable figure for audiences and enthusiasts to connect with. Arnold's absence might mean a lack of a universally recognizable ambassador for the sport, a face that could bring bodybuilding into mainstream conversations with ease and charisma. Don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking journeys and explorative content. Remember, the limits of possibility are defined only by our imaginations. Until next time!